Okay, hello everyone, let's get started. So in the previous video, we completed uh, installation and configuration of our SDH uh, cluster managed by Clouder Manager Enterprise Edition. So, and if you remember, uh, last time we also discussed that still we have some problems or warnings as we can see here. Yeah, and today and in the upcoming videos, we will try to fix them all, right? So for today, let's start with uh, critical issues. And as you can see, so this one with red, it means a critical issue. And orange one, that's not a critical, that, but still something we should pay attention to. Yeah? Okay, so HDFS service. Uh, let's see, we have one critical health issue. Okay, and as we can see, the problem is under replicated blocks. Okay, let's see what we have here. And here we have the description of that problem. Uh, so, uh, 1827 blocks under replicated blocks in the cluster in total. Okay, so percentage under replicated is 99.89%. Okay, so the problem is that as you remember, HDFS is distributed file system. Uh, so each piece of data or block uh, should be replicated. Right? And the problem is that each block should be replicated multiple times. Yeah? Uh, by default, Cloudera set this replication factor to three. Yeah? So it means that each block should be replicated three times. Yeah? And this error says that for uh, this amount of blocks, uh, data is not replicated three times. Uh, but uh, two or one or whatever yeah? and here we have some advice yeah so we should use this hdfs fs fsck commands to check what happens there let's do that okay and yeah hdfs fsck and let's check from the root yeah so meaning that we check everything yeah so since that's a cluster we should create uh, connect to any of our cluster nodes through ssh and execute these commands right so i am i'm connected now to node 2 okay let's go let's see okay yeah and it's as you can see we don't have uh, permissions for our user, in my case that Dmitris have, to access uh, root on HDFS. Yeah? So means that, and here we have a, a hint yeah, here, that uh, this folder under root belongs to user HDFS and to group supergroup. Okay, no problem. Let's execute the same command from user HDFS. Yeah, sudo minus u HDFS. So with this, we tell us that uh, the following command will be executed from that user. And the command as such, HDFS, FSCK, root. Okay, so now we are checking the whole HDFS file system. And as you can see here, we have description of the files yeah, and basically the problem is the same for all of them a name of the file target replicas is free yeah so meaning that this file and all others should be replicated three times but found two live replicas but but indeed each file is replicated only twice okay okay let's keep that in mind so Right now we know that uh, blocks of our files on HDFS are replicated two times, not three times as it should be. Yeah, so let's investigate further. Why is it so? And uh, let's go here uh, to some warning, configuration warnings. And let's pay attention to the first one. Yeah. So service HDFS has two data nodes and is recommended free. Yeah, and that's basically the root cause why we have this problem with uh, replication. Yeah? Since 
data nodes are used for storing data and they are also used to uh, store replicated data but since we have only two data nodes it means that uh, data is replicated only twice as we can see here yeah but target is free but the thing is that we don't have actually free data nodes right now in the cluster only two yeah that's why um, we are not able to replicate uh, data three times yeah? so how we fix that so since we have uh, three nodes in our cluster we can uh, say that please add another node as a data node yeah and here we see that data nodes are currently node one and node two right and we can also set the role of data node to our manager as well we can do that by pressing add role instances and here we have data nodes yeah so here basically we have all roles available for hdfs now we are interested in data nodes yeah, so as you see we have this da uh, hdfs data node role both for node 1 and node 2 but not for manager node and we can add it by pressing here this checkbox and you can see that added role is hdfs data node let's press ok continue continue okay start okay now we are starting uh, this service on manager as well uh, so once it is done we should be able to replicate all our data three times and basically by this uh, we will fix both the problem related to under replication and also that warning that we have only two data nodes instead of three right close okay three data nodes let's go back okay so this one uh, one warning has been already fixed and uh, this under replicated should be fixed soon yeah by uh, by my name node yeah so we should wait a bit once it's replicated yeah okay so uh, another thing to consider is that uh, we can actually change the configuration of hdfs so the replication uh, would be not free uh, not free uh, not free but two right uh, yeah you see replication factor yeah so another thing how we could fix that problem is to set uh, this replication factor from three to two that's also a possible solution right okay so as you see yeah the number of replicate under replicated blocks is smaller it's only uh, 960 and percentage is 52 so once we have added a new data node so hdfs service automatically replicates uh, data uh, so if we launch that comment once again we would see that the amount of files which are under replicated is uh, much smaller yeah 570 only so let's wait a bit and also you can see here on the matrix that uh, cluster disk input output uh, is being used quite heavily yeah and gfs input output is used quite heavily that's uh, because these blocks are being replicated now right we're still still waiting okay warning threshold 10 percent okay so it should be warning 90 okay excellent you see it's now a warning it's not an error anymore 
Yeah, that's uh, how I'll fix that. Okay, yeah, so that was uh, about the memory problem. So memory allocation is this one, but we have only 23.5. Yeah, but that's something different, which we will uh, fix uh, next time. Yeah. Okay, but uh, this series related, uh, this video related to uh, fixing under-replicated blocks and also how we can add a new data node, a new role to a host is completed now. Yeah, hopefully that was interesting for you. You fix that on your machine as well. Yeah, still, if you have any questions, something is not clear, uh, just uh, drop a message under the video in the comments. I will help you, no problem. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done that so far. So here you can find some interesting and hopefully useful videos related to big data technologies, to Java. And also, uh, don't forget to visit my website, blog.dataguru.guide, where you will find a post for that video and all others as well. So if you would like to follow step-by-step -step guide, uh, written step-by-step -step guide, not a video, you are more than welcome. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.